even though our more habituated tendency might be to remember the things we've done wrong and the mistakes we've made, the things we regret, we can consciously shift our attention to include the good within ourselves. And so too, when we look at others, this is not an exercise meant to deny that anything is wrong or regrettable. But if we look at somebody and we only think about the mistakes they've made, then a tremendous sense of self and other and us and them can be reinforced. Whereas if we include even one good thing, if we can think of it, then a bridge is built so that when we honestly and directly look at what's difficult, it's more from a stance of being side by side rather than across this huge gulf of seeming separation. So beginning with oneself, just in a relaxed, easy posture, however you feel comfortable. See if you can think of one good thing you did yesterday. It may not have been very big or grandiose. Maybe you smiled at somebody. Maybe you listened to them. Maybe you let go of some annoyance at a slow clerk in a store. Maybe you forgave yourself for not saying something totally correctly. Maybe you were generous. Maybe you sat down to meditate. Maybe you thanked a bus driver. It's not conceit or arrogance to consider these things. But it's quite nourishing, replenishing to take joy, to take delight in the good that moves through us, that we can manifest. And if at any time, whether with ourselves or somebody else, we cannot think of something good, then there's another reflection that we do, which is simply to recall that all beings want to be happy. Everybody wants to be happy. This urge toward happiness is nothing to be squeamish about or, or feel funny about. The problem is not the urge, the problem is ignorance. Not really sensing where genuine happiness might be found. But that urge toward happiness itself is rightful. It's appropriate. And when we can combine it with wisdom instead of with ignorance, it becomes like a homing instinct for freedom and can help us cut through many obstacles. 
So we start with ourselves and then with others looking for the good and if it's just not going to happen that way we switch to this other reflection recalling that all beings want to be happy and think of a benefactor someone who's helped you Here, their good qualities might come in a rush. You can appreciate that about them. Those aspects. Those efforts. Those acts of kindness. Think of a good friend. Appreciate the good within them. Think of someone you know who's having a difficult time right now. They're ill or hurting. Think of the good within them. Sometimes they've reached out to help others. Their own sources of strength. You can see that this person is not just their problem, but something bigger. Think of someone you have a little bit of difficulty with. Some conflict. Dis-ease. See if you can find some good reflected in things they've done. Choices they've made. And if not, you can switch to that other reflection, remembering that they too, just like each one of us, wants to be happy. They want to be happy. Everybody wants the same sense of belonging feeling at home in his body in his mind this life but ignorance is a very strong force and we'll close with a few moments of the reflection that all beings want to be happy. May they be happy. You can silently repeat that over and over again. And you can close the session with a few moments of reflection that all beings want to be happy May they be happy. You can silently repeat those phrases again and again. All beings want to be happy. May they be happy.